today we're with our guy Adam. He's got over 120 pairs of sneakers in his collection and we're gonna show you 90 of them and we're gonna purchase the other 30, including a pair of the OG Chicago 85s. Be sure to leave a like, comment down your favorite part of the video below and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. All right, special video today. We are doing an exclusive in-house buyout with my guy Adam Rouge here. His nickname is Rouge. Yep. His last name is Ruggiero? Yep, Rob Ruggieri. Ruggieri, yep. Ruggieri, yep. Ruggieri. And he goes by Rouge. So I actually met Adam on a plane when we were going to Chicago. Sneaker Con or Chicago Got Soul? Uh, sneaker Con. Yep. Sneaker Con. And I was sitting with Johnson on the plane and Adam was in the window seat. And I don't know what we were doing. I think we were on StockX searching shoes or something. Yeah. That conversation got started. Yep, yep. Do you want to tell, give us a little backstory of how long you've been collecting? And Sure. I really started in high school. Uh, uh, the True Blue Threes. I remember like it was yesterday, November. The 11th was the date, 2001. Uh, me and my buddy Brian started collecting right around that same time. Just saved up money, buy shoes. And then through college, started selling a lot because I needed some money for food and stuff like that, you know? I grew up on the south side of Chicago, so grew up during the 90s with the Bulls and uh, just naturally had a love for Michael Jordan and kind of the nostalgic factor plays in big time as well. So always just been a fun, expensive hobby, but uh, just gonna get rid of some pairs that, you know, I know I'll never wear. And yeah, it's pretty much the gist. And I'm just after like more of an OG collector now, so. Just to interrupt this video real quick, the entire size 12 collection that we just purchased from Adam, we are going to be selling on Network Live. Hit the link down in the description below. Don't miss out. Thursday, February 15th at 4 p.m. MST. How much, how much was that 2001 True Blue that you bought? I think retail was 110 at the time. Which Something was like a lot. That. that was expensive. Yeah. A shoe back then. Yep. Now we're looking like, what, over 200, right, yeah. for most retail. Easily. So. Yeah. Those are the days. You'll yep. see a lot of these boxes too have the original retail sticker on them. So, for example, you've got a pair of sixes right here, retail 120. So, stuff yeah. like that we'll get into later. But he also has a crazy golf collection, like one of the biggest golf sneaker collections I've seen. And keep in mind, there's not a lot of golf shoes out there. So when you have a 20 plus pair of golf shoes, that's when you know you're dedicated to the game. Yeah, that's more so what I'm collecting that too, just golf shoes and like I said, OGs, more so what I'm after, so. I wanna start with specifically the golf shoes. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna move this table over real yeah. quick. And you can kind of step over with me so we can yeah. go over together. Um, Start at the top and we'll kind of go one by one. Yeah, um, so most of the golf's actually over here. Um, so yeah, there's some here, these are the Chicago One Lows. I've worn these one time, just the golf shoes here. That's a great colorway, yep. more recent yep. drop. Yep, uh, here's just some great fives. Wow. Uh, haven't worn these yet. What year did those drop? Um, it's a good question. I think like maybe three or four years ago, you know, they really just started releasing a lot of them right, right lately, you know. Uh, here's some wolf gray ones. Uh, this is the yeah, still brand new box, so nice clean colorway. It's like a do or low type of vibe. Yeah. Golf shoe. Yep. And most of these, you know, you can just rock right off the course. You know, it's not like they have this, you know, they're spikeless. So, right. Really comfortable. I didn't see a Travis Golf Low. I don't have those. Not no. yet. No, I don't have those. I'm more so into like just the like original colorways too. Sure. You know, like you'll notice the rest of my collection too. I like just original yeah. colorways. Absolutely. Uh, like here's just a Jordan 5 Low. You can see I've definitely wow, used quite a bit. Yeah, I love those. Drew. Five five. Drew. Oh, Come out. Oh, uh, <laughs> the background just wait. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So. Some of it's worn, some of it's new. Yep, yep. And what so, makes you want to undie as a golf bear? Um, you know, I don't know. It just have to be like an occasion maybe, right? Like yeah. uh, maybe a trip with some of the guys out, sure. you know, somewhere. Or if we take a golf trip somewhere. Other than that, I mean, I kind of just treat a lot of the shoes like art, really, to be honest. You know, right. I think they're just kind of nice to look at. Is it a, a huge while. conversation starter when you're on the course and let's just say you break out a new pair? Like, uh, sometimes, yeah. I mean, people just, you know, admire the kicks, I guess, you right. know? And uh, like I said, since they've been coming out with more shoes lately, you're starting to see a lot more people wear them on the course. 100%. Um, I got a couple pairs that, you know, released quite a while ago where there's only maybe a handful that released. So, um, you know, yeah, it's just kind of kind of fun to rock them out there. Yeah. These are just the taxi lows, of course. That's a sick one, actually. Nice clean colorway. I love when they do a Jordan 5 low or a Jordan 12 low, but mm -hmm. seeing it as a golf one with all the spikes, yep. you know, these are nasty. These are these are super neutral too. You can wear those with anything. Oh yeah. Yep. That's a great one. Oh, so this is just the wolf gray pair, the same one I just showed, but I've worn these obviously. So. Double up and keep a DS pair. Yep. Love yep. it. So is that one of your favorite golf ones? Uh the one lows I wear a lot. Um definitely the white cements. So these are more the golf shoes over here. So here's the Jordan 3s. Wow. Uh pretty rare colorway, you know. 100 percent really. These are going for probably like a grand, brand new or so, eight to nine hundred, somewhere around there. Yeah, great yeah. spikes. Does yeah. the price point ever make you regret wearing them or you don't? 
Sometimes, yep, yeah. yep. That's why like a lot of them I haven't worn yet, just because I'm looking for that right opportunity, right? Right, To exactly. bust them out, so. This green little plastic lace. Oh, lace. <laughs> so I took that off another pair. Okay, got uh, it. I was like, I've never seen this. They release these as a ball marker. Right. So like, you could take this off, you know, when you're, when you're putting on the course. And so That's, these are sick. Fun. You put some leg work into these. Yeah, but yep, I could definitely, so. definitely clean these up a little bit, but. Yeah, one of my favorites for sure. You want to sell these? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> yep. no. We'll keep trying. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. So here we got wow, the, those are sick yeah, too. just uh, infrared sixes. Um, nice clean colorway again. These are going for well under retail right now, but I mean they're just so comfortable. I I love these. These are probably what I wear the most actually. So the six lows. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, this pair. Um, even though they look you know really clean, but yeah, they don't look just my more. favorites. Yep. Exactly. So. Is this the bulkiness of the six or? Like what's this? Is it just the fit of the yeah, six yeah, that you yeah. Oh, sorry. No, that was just a side question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just really just the, the, the fit of them. You know, nice, okay. It's not even comfortable. So uh, here's the white cement fours. These have been worn a lot, as you can see. Again, my favorite Jordan of all time. So I definitely wear these a lot. So you said white cement's your favorite shoe of all time? Yeah. So yep. having the OG pair plus yep. a golf pair. Yep. Here's just another pair of sixes. I haven't worn these yet, but another. You know, nice clean colorway, mostly white, of course, a little khaki. Those are clean so, too. Yeah. Jeez, nice clean. Oh, they, I haven't seen half these golf shoes. Really? Been dropped. Mainly because it's just like you don't really, people don't really come in to sell golf shoes. I was going to say, if I don't move much. They're really the more right. bought and sold on apps right. than anything. Right. So when you get to see them in person, yep. it's just it's just awesome. I've seen these though. Yep. Yeah, these are the Military 4 uh, golf shoes. Uh, so yeah, I got these not too long ago. So again, haven't, haven't worn them yet, but clean. Yeah, so nice clean colorway. Looking you, forward to these next year. Yeah, I was just going to say, you're going to buy them when they drop this? Oh year? yeah. Gonna, yep, going to try for them. Try to sure. get them for retail? Yep, exactly. He's one pair in this collection he's bought from Common Eye before, so. Yep, yep. We'll get to that one later. Let's see. This is a nice uh, These are the Metallic 5 Lows. Definitely worn these a lot. So, they're, so most of these are the shoes that came with that um, uh, ball marker that we were talking about earlier. So, But yeah, nice clean, clean colorway. Dark color, it's just easier to wear. Yeah, right? Um, these are just some basic all whites. Never go wrong with those. Yeah. Clean, yeah. Just a nice pair. I might have somebody do a custom on or something, you know? Yeah, that'd be tough. I think those are sitting on a pretty under. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, right yeah, they're going for yeah, less. Yeah, if you guys want to get a cheap golf shoe, that's the one to grab. Yeah. That's, but that's a good point. You could customize those. You could get all in for like under 250 bucks. Yeah, you see a lot of people use those just to make some sick customs. Sold a couple of these because they're recent drops. Yeah. So I was able to get a couple of these. Yeah, just bread fours. Um, I've seen people remove the spikes too and just rock them. Really? As like a, yeah, basic shoe, so. Yep, can't go wrong with that. I don't know why that bread fork off just doesn't hit for me. And this yeah. one has like a true bread fork. I don't know, I don't know what it is about that. Right. Yeah, here's the brand new Cements. So, again, just definitely wanted to double up. Oh, you doubled these. up on this brick. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Those look fresh. Yeah. So these are the, I think they call these the pony hair fours or the, yeah, black fours, just all black. I've never seen those. No, before. yeah. Do you care if I hold them? Yeah, go ahead. This is sick. Black hat four vibes, yeah. but with that long hair suede, wow. These are insane. Mm -hmm. Literally all black. Wow. Yeah. How much is he going for now? Do you have any idea? I think around 300, you know, maybe 350-ish, right around there. I mean, golfing in fours in Arizona though, your feet are just swamped. Yeah, I that's just, true. Like you take these off, your feet just- Yeah, those are making like me sweat. Just that's like, a yeah, it's a <laughs> definitely a winter up. Wow, these yeah. are insane. Yeah. What a sick shoe. I've never seen this before. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, so here's some Concords. <clears throat> Low top Concord, Jordan Golf shoes. I've worn these once and learned that definitely need to size up on these. Uh, so, you know, 12 is my normal size, but after the round, my feet were actually hurting a little bit, yeah. so. Yeah. You kept the toe box clean though. Yeah. Just a little bit of sway creasing. Yep, yep. That's it. He's probably Those go. Those are nice. Yeah, he's go for like around eight, 900, probably brand new or so. I want to golf collection now. Do you ever look at your sneaker collection and you're just like, I just, this is so much money in two. Yeah, yeah. So just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's, that's kind of why I'm giving you some of those today. So, yeah. <laughs> so these are the Tory Pine fours. Never seen so, those. Really sick colorway. Wow, the laces are crazy on those. Yeah. More of a louder shoe. Definitely harder yeah. to wear yeah. with the golf fit. Yeah, definitely. Do they have a regular colorway of that? Uh, no. Because Tory Pines is a course, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Purple cage. What is this, like a? Canvas, yeah, this, these are interesting. Yeah, 
Super cool. Definitely louder though, yeah, right? Yeah, 100%. Uh, another basic. Yeah, yeah. Basic Jordan 1 low, just shadow, shadow grade, yeah. Also cheap. Yeah, yeah, going for 400. affordable. Yeah. This is second double up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know if I see that you hitting like a thousand bucks like other golf colorways, but right, it's hovering like two fifty. Yeah, know, nothing crazy, but probably go up over the years, right? I can see that you being like a five hundred dollar golf shoe. Yeah, that's more realistic for that shoe. But it's like, do you want to buy a hundred pairs of those and sit on them? Golf blowing up right now. Though. Yeah, yeah, like, golf's sure. really blowing up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here's a brand new pair of Jordan Twelves. Those are yeah. Way so these are just the Mass Masters Twelves. So kind of goes with the Augusta. Why haven't you? Want, that's got to be a special occasion. Yeah, sort of. I mean, they're just. I mean, they're not, guys. yeah, they're they're going to get dirty too, you know? No, I get so, it. Just, wow. It's like every time I go golf, I'm like, all right, I'll probably just wear the usual, you know, keep them brand new and wait for that right time to bust them out. What's been your favorite course to golf at that you've ever golfed at? Um, I just played last March, actually, at the, uh, in uh, Hawaii, in Maui, the Kapalua Plantation course. Really? Yeah, so they just had the tournament there a couple weeks ago. So it was pretty sick. Yeah, it was like 500 bucks to play. But is that expensive for golf? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm not, you know. I mean, golf is expensive, but yeah, 500 yeah. bucks is pretty. Your, what's the best golfer you've ever had? I couldn't even tell you. It's definitely not under 90. <laughs> not under 90? No. What about you? Uh, my best, 75. Shot a 75, which is like three that's over. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that's but, pretty really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm really good. in the 80s. Yeah. I was kind of expecting that, though. I mean, yeah. you got the kick, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah, hoping yeah, he had a good little game with him. You can't be like me trying to put on a pair of golf shoes and then wink and drive to the other side of the course. Right, right. I think out yeah. of the entire golf collection you showed me thus far, that's you like that one? Top yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah clean. masters are ridiculous. Yeah, really clean. See, I think that's it for the golf. That's right? it for the golf. Should be twenty-three pairs, I think. So. Yeah, comment down below which you, which you, which one's your guys' favorite. I think this one for sure is yeah. the top. The Masters Twelve. The Master Twelve. I like those. Uh, what are the Black Hat Four One? Yeah, it's like pony hair. Pony, pony hair. Yeah, pony hair fours. I, I really yeah. like those. And then the other one was the. Uh, Tory Pine Fours, maybe the little loud ones, I, or the no, Concords. Concords, yeah. I think. Yeah. Can't go wrong with those. Yeah, that's my. I think. What's your favorite one out of that whole batch? Uh, the White Cement Fours. Yeah, I can't go wrong <laughs> yeah, with that. Too clean. Yeah, I get that. Yep. Yeah. Um, so. Hey, just want to interrupt this video real quick to mention that we will be at Got Soul Miami February 17th and 18th, and they just announced Rick Ross is pulling up to the event. Make sure to grab your tickets and vendor passes if you guys haven't already. We're going to try and bring $50,000 worth of cash to buy in Miami. So bring all the pairs that you guys have. Come see us and back to the video. All right, so this is going to be the non-golf shoes of his collection. Again, all size 12s, and I think maybe one or two 11 and a half, so a couple 11s yeah, a couple, in here. Yeah, weird. But uh, I'm going to go over the the OG ones first. So 85s you mean? Oh, you, well yeah, let's start with 85. Yeah. Gotcha. So no box, no OG box of course, but they're pretty damn mint condition. Oh, like the, oh wow. Like the OG yeah, 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 like yeah. the OG, OG. Yeah. So. When did you get, get these? Um, kind of a funny story about these actually. I bought these, um, are you familiar with like Warm Tokyo and yes. those guys? Uh, so I bought these for 650 bucks. Um, must have been six years ago. You know, really before like OGs kind of OG ones anyways really kicked off, but bought a size 11 and then found this guy through Instagram that lives out in California who had this 11 and a half, literally it's like same condition. And uh, so I went out there and, you know, we met up and kind of just made a little size swap just for that extra half, sure. half size up. Right. So but yeah, I mean, super clean. Have you worn them? Uh, I put them on foot. Yeah. I mean, never worn them out though, to be honest, but I'm just afraid they might Crumble. crumble. I don't know. But, uh, these are one of the cleanest pairs of 85s. Yeah, they're, these are in really, really good yeah. condition. Even wow. though like, you feel the collars, the collars are super soft. These are 100% work. I'm, mm, you know, I, I it's, it's this, risky. No, I know. I feel it's risky, right? Because the issue with these is if you don't wear them, that's when they're more success, susceptible to crumbling. Right. The more you wear and break them in, that's when you can kind of wear them and get away with it. Right, exactly. But yeah, I, I don't know if these are wearable, but this is definitely the softest yeah. color, 85. Yeah, I mean, even looking on the, the insole here, like the, they just smell like the 80s too. <laughs> oh yeah, this is straight vintage. Take a whiff of that, Drew, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. It's like, I feel like the Bulls 90, 93 locker room. Right. <laughs> wow, these are so, wow, this is a clean, clean pair. Yeah. Uh, you, would you sell these there? 
No, I mean, I can't. No, those are probably going to the grave with me or right. hand down to the kids. You know? yeah, I got you. That's fair. That's fair. I, 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 I can't not ask. Yeah, right. It's fair. It's fair. The comments would be. Listen, you ever want to sell those, please hit me up. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, I just want first dip. So yeah, you got first dip. I'll take this for you and put them to the side. Okay, yeah. <laughs> put them in your, <laughs> <cell zone. laughs> in your car. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of just you know, basic GRs, like super black toe ones. Mm. Clean yeah. note, clean cheap. Yeah. Are those still going under retail? Bro? I think they're like 120 bucks. Yeah. Which I think retail was like 120 on them for whatever reason. Yep. No, they're just basic. I like these. I mean, I like Jordan 1 lows. It's, right. Like I said, that's pretty much what I it's wear. It's not that true powder blue color. Also, right. it's just a, a ginormous Nike Jordan 1 box for whatever reason. Right. It's like they jacked up the size of the boxes and they just decided to throw it on the bleach coral lows, the powder blue lows. It's the most random box ever. Right. Yeah, just a true basic. blue ones. Yep. Here you go. Star, starfish. So brand new. Yep. Remember during COVID, those things were going for like, they going up. Yeah. Grip. Yep. I that was one of the best investments we've ever done. We bought a bunch of pairs of those at like I think it was like a buck sixty, buck seventy, and we went up to like two fifty, two sixty. Oh, nice. And uh, it was one of our better investment plays. I don't know what these are called, but this uh, is a the, sick box. Yeah, yeah these concept. are the uh, East Side Golf. That's what they're called. Yeah, yep. these are just the Jordan One Lows. Which those don't go for much either. No, no. Nice clean. Yeah, not bad. Jet the Liberty. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. What year are these? Uh, so those are 2001. Yep. Uh, just the infrareds. And you've worn them a couple times. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, you know, a long time ago, they uh, definitely crumble if I would try to wear them now. But immaculate condition. Yeah. Great yeah, display clean. piece. Yep. What's uh, what's the infatuation with having all the OG? Uh, uh, yeah. Obviously they kind of crumble yeah. like the back heel right here. What's the infatuation with having all the OG pairs though? Um, like I said, for me, it's just, I think I, I treat them more like art, like a little art piece kind of, right. you know, and I like having the OG all. And Especially the original box. With yeah. Too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And again, 120 buck retail back in 2001. Again, expensive yeah. shoe. Yeah. Back in the day. For back then, yep. Cheaper than what they are going for now. So, yep. Yep. so this has best fan so on We it. can skip these if you want, because my buddy made these for me for his wedding. Sure. It's kind of a best man gift. Uh, so he did a little customized, just Jordan ones. <laughs> With the trophy in it? Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Just pretty basic little paint job he did. I kind of like what he did on the back here. Like a little jump man, like in a little suit. Right. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, yeah cool. Stuff. Yeah. That's a cool present. Yep. Yep. What's up, this man? Good. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying. I guess I'm going to get engaged first. But <laughs> I've never been a fan of these. No. Yeah, yeah the Jordan like 11 blows. I like just the, you know, I don't know, just the breathability a little bit, you know? I, I, I've i heard they're comfortable. Yeah. 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 They're really comfy. They just don't hit the same. As, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Not the cement threes. Right? No, no, no. So these are the Paris one lows. These are pretty dope. Wow. That's a slept on one. Yeah. I think I've worn these once, but. Yeah, so it's an easy wear too, super neutral. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a, that's a, awesome. that's an yeah. underrated one for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think they're going for, they're going up like 450, 500, something like that. That like makes me wearing one. Right. Right. Like, right. On a Jordan one low, you're like, okay. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Uh, so I don't have many dunks. But you got the barbershops. Yeah, just a random, random dunk. Yeah, it's like one of the, oh, you have pandas as well. Yeah, I guess pandas. Uh, and then I have some uh, the Nike IDs or whatever. Gotcha. A little custom clean colorway. This is one of the greatest shoes of all time. Yeah. I'm not kidding either. It's the perfect gift. Yeah, so these aren't the 85s. Nope. These are the... No, no, 2021. Yep. It's a great gift. It's They're so easy to wear. Mm-hmm. Kids, dads, it's just the most awesome shoe ever. And they're super comfortable because the 85s are mad uncomfortable. Really? With that material. I haven't, I haven't tried that again. Yet. Toe box is really tight. Yeah, it's just bad. So, yeah, here's the common hike special here. Just did a little size swap for me. I had a size 13 and uh, came in for the 12. Just again, simple, clean also color way. Shoe. I'm surprised you haven't worn those yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. like So, as you can see, I'm wearing the other ones here and they'll eventually just be to replace those yeah, when, exactly. they're, when they're dead. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. So here we're getting into the 90, yeah, the 99 OG 14s. So these are the black toes from 99. I don't think I've ever seen this pair either. No. Specifically, yeah, no. Yeah, any uh, any OG collector, for OG 14s have that specific smell to them. So that one might may not have it as much. Oh, no, it has it. You smell it? Wow. That's that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, that smells like a, like almost like a good dress shoe to go with that, Chris, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> uh, smell that. Smell that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't you guys smell that real quick? Here you go. Take a whip. Wow. They didn't make fakes back then. Great. Wow. That's like, you can, that's you a great step. Yeah. You can feel good. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's a great pair. I never knew they had that distinctive smell as well. Yep, here's the OG. Yeah. <clears throat> Last shots. Brand new. What year are these? 99s. 
Yep, oh geez. Wow. That's the last shot. Yeah, that one, you can really smell on that one. It smells like a lot. Oh yeah, <laughs> take a whiff of that, boys, huh? There you go, smell it. Smells ahead. like number six right there. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Wow. I wonder if that, it, it's gotta come from the leather, or is it the midsole? You know, I think it has to do with the material that's on this. On the midsole? Yeah, the midsoles, yep. So. You just feel it. I feel yeah, it. I feel yeah. yeah. Like, you can feel it after you can yeah. It. yeah, I can totally understand. Those are oxidized 14s. Originals as well. Same spell too? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I still wear these every once in a while. And they're just, they're, you know, they're not they hold up. Apart. Yeah, I think like you said earlier, like if you wear them, I think it helps them sometimes with the glue yeah. and everything. Yeah, there's another OG. Uh, so OG Concords. OG. I mean, look at the box. Yeah. Jordan, the air in it, and obviously the Jumpman. And you can just tell this has been in the closet for a yeah. while because just <laughs> collected dust in it. But so. wow, the box is super fragile too, huh? Yeah. Yep. They'd be all like, quite a bit. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> I almost like them like that though. Yeah. It shows Do you? That. Shows the age of them for sure. Yeah. Do these have a distinct smell at all or not really? No, nah, not really. Just yeah. regular. Yeah, this has the price tag on there too. 125 bucks. Yeah. That would have, 11's refilled to, for 220 now, I think. Mm -hmm. But that's why I like keeping these and that's why you're getting a pair of the yeah. 18, 2018. Yep. Let's see. Wow. Oh, are those are Carmine's? Yes. Yeah, these so it's crazy on these is they do two, they did two size tags on each side. Yeah. So you got the size tag right here, the size tag with the retail sticker, and then you have the, the shoe skew and the shoe name. And then on the flip side of the box, you also has the same size tag as well. And then he obviously put his picture. So it's a double-sided size tag. And then obviously the retail sticker price. These are on sale too, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Got 20 bucks out. <laughs> got Jeez. these for a hundred bucks. Yeah. Almost. So these are obviously, they're crumbling. I mean, it's OG. OG all, but I don't even want to bother taking them out of the box. No, I don't even know so. any more about it. But any ambitions to soul swap those? Uh, possibly sometime. I mean, again, I kind of like keeping them OG all, to be honest. Um, I mean, I have a couple pairs that are soul swap that we'll see, but right. um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I like that OG all. And if anyone's got a size 12, wants to trade, let me know. Yeah, where can they find you <laughs> if they're interested? Like, yeah, uh, just on Instagram, uh, Rouge, R U G E 2 3. Um, yeah, hit me up on there and if you see anything you like, maybe. You may have a few DMs that are just like, bro, I need these. Yeah, yeah, possibly. He's open. Yep. Besides the 85s, don't even bother yep. with the 85s. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> we tried. Yeah. Phew. We already tried. Oh, the seven? seven. Yeah, the Olympics. No, 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 the oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so here's the Olympic 7s, uh, 92. And these are brand new as well. Sevens are always hard to get out. So. Look at the bottom of the sole. Just. See how it's kind of got that white fading to it? It mm -hmm. just gives you the age on that. Yep. Those are sick. Yep. I actually have two pairs of these. They're both 11 and a half, so I'm actually looking to move one of them if anyone's interested. There you go. Rouge 23 on Instagram. Love when they did this. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Oh. <laughs> MJ's face and it's just eyes just glaring at you. But tell them about this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so these are the Space Jams 2001. Uh, I got the retro card. Yeah. Um, these have been worn quite a bit, so you're gonna have that nice yellow sole. And uh, so again, I like keeping the older older kicks, and you're getting a pair of the, the new year, the I think 16, 20, 16, yeah, 16, yep. I am so cool that you have the OG, and then you got the new ones as well. Right, yeah, that's awesome. Yep. Military, yeah, military fours, another nice clean colorway. I might wear eventually, just super clean. That's tough. I see the trade block sticker. Oh there. yeah, those yeah. are trade block. Yep. So I traded uh, Jubilee 11s for them. Nice. And then I think they added 20 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty damn yeah, good deal. I, I think so as well. So, trade uh, block. We're doing something with them for March Madness. You guys will see something on that soon. Uh, so these are the 72 and tens. Is that the new pair? Uh, no. This is the. I forget what year these released. Like 2015 maybe. Oh yeah. So the newer pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they just released like what low tops? Or something? Mm -hmm. Yep. The low tops still hit though. Those. Yeah. So these I got as a gift from, from the lady. So I, not trying to sell these. Got to keep so, them. Yeah. Get that. Yeah. It's hard to sell gifts. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever wear them since they are a gift? Or um, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Not my. The hard part about gifts, it's like if you get something, you may end up not wearing it. Like, is it acceptable to right. go trade for a shoe that you would wear with right. that shoe? Right. It's like kind of a. What would you do, Brandon? I think, I think if I talked to him and said, hey, I don't know if I'm gonna wear these, but I really think I could wear these and I'll trade them. You know, if I just got like approval for it, I think that would be satisfactory. What do you yeah. think about yeah, it? Yeah, I agree for sure. Uh, Cherry 12s. Oh gee, wow, look yeah. at the receipt. Just with the receipt. I picked this up at uh, 
what are some of the sneaker events here? Uh, Heat Soul, Heat yeah, Heat Soul. Heat Soul. Wow. So yeah, brand new still. And what's really rare to find, and I haven't looked at these in a while, but yep, they're still in good shape. The uh, tab here. Most of the OGs you see that are cracked. So. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, it's just nice. These are still in They just released these good condition. again in 2023. It's been a great yeah. shoe, too. Yeah, yeah. This is the second pair of Olympics? Oh, yeah. Sevens? Yep. Same, Same thing? Much. Yep. Another pair of Olympics. You gotta take them out. Just... Yeah, this one's actually a little cleaner pair. The other one had a real uh, yellow toe. This one's a little more white. Like he's, still, he's willing to sell one of them, guys, so. Yeah. I'll need... probably hang on to this one, but the yellow, more yellow toed. I would let go. All right. These. Is this the pair you tried selling me? No, that it was that. It was yeah, the one of the sevens. Olympics. Yeah. yeah, yeah. These are just some used uh, Cardinal Sevens that I got at a, another sneaker event. Um, didn't want to pass them up. I mean, I got them for a good price. You know, they're used, but yeah, what no did, box what, or anything. What did, what does something like this go for? If you know my chair? Um, I could probably get like maybe 125 bucks somewhere right. around there. I would say. And what did you pay on them? I paid 150, but nice. that also included uh, a brand new 1993 Bulls for Sons like shirt. Oh, sick! School shirt. Nice. Yeah. And then look at the old size tags in here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a cool one. Do you have more in these? No. Nah. More display? No. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're you know they're starting to come apart a little sure. bit. Sure. But this is the grail for some people. Oh yeah. Yep, black toes. Definitely on the hunt for some 85s. That's my grail, one of my grails. Um, yeah, just nice clean colorway. It's got that stardust on it. But this isn't the 2016 black toe. This is the 2012. 2012, yeah. Black yeah. toe. So, yeah. What a great shoe. And I don't, again, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Got some glitter going on on the leather as well. Yeah. So, just awesome with those. They don't make them like they used to. Right. right. That's for sure. Oh, another one. Just that. 2012 Concords, yep. We don't have to take these all the way out, but because it's just a pain to put them back in. Yeah, you can kind of see through there a little bit. So that was a pair I hunted down for a while, um, you know, back you know, when I was graduating college a while back. And right. I remember just trying to hunt, you know, hunt those down. You know, it's, it's hard, hard to get. So I really love the box that they did on this one. Yeah. It kind of matches you. Yeah. Just different. Really like that one. Uh, so not an OG box, but this is the toe cap original tens, steel tens. It's a barren vibe. Yeah. Yeah. So all the OG collectors, they love that toe cap. It's about the same. Yeah. It's about like that old antique. Yeah. It's just sick. So. So we need a retro of that with the toe cap. Yeah. At some point. Probably. Did somebody ship that to you with the USB? Like they ship it like that, or you bought it? Right um, there? I bought. I think I yeah I bought them like this. It was actually just a local. Okay. Yeah. yeah local meetup. Listen, if you're new into sneakers, let me tell you something. See how he put the actual <laughs> label on the box and wrapped it with the USPS tape around it? Don't do that. Don't do that. Ever. Get a shipping box. Throw it in the shipping box. Bubble wrap it. Yeah. Tape the box over. Don't be an idiot. Yeah. Right? I love this box so much. Yep. Another one, Jordan just staring into your soul. Yeah, yeah 2001 Concords. Yeah, another nice pair. Retro card, I guess. I don't know why I put it in the Ziploc, but. I love that you did. Yep. Wow. That's a great one. Yep. Is this the new pair? The, is it the Playoff 8s? Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's a classic one. Yep. I didn't think these sell for that crazy, and they started moving up. And... Yep. Yeah, it's the only eight I have in my collection, actually, so. Only Jordan 8, huh? Yeah. Why was that the one? I want the, well, because the OG colorway, and I had these as a kid, too. Oh, really? Okay, so, nice. kind of that nostalgic Absolutely. feel, you know? Uh, I got a pair of fives. Wow. Which ones are these? Oh, these are the grapes. Yeah, OG grape fives. Oh, gee. They need to be sold. They came with a replacement, mid sole replacement, so. Um, let's see, I'm not going to just pull. If you want to see them, you can say it. Oh, <laughs> these things are coming apart. Yeah, yeah, they're ready for the swap. Yeah, they are. Those are so, you know, OG box and all, so. Wow. Wow. Six, six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another OG6. So these have already gone and crumbled. Yeah, they, um, again, are ready for a midsole swap. I mean, the whole sole is gone. <laughs> yeah. Just in the back. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, those are the white infrareds. So, but yeah, have the donor. But that's what it looks like right now. <laughs> That's ready, for the, ready for the swap. They're brand new, actually. Damn. So it's crazy. Yeah, if you do soul swaps, yep. do you have a guy for that? Uh, I've used Ammo Skunk once or twice. I've um, never heard of him. Yeah, he's a good one. A1 Restorations is another, okay, gotcha. another one. I think I've heard of A1. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many out there. Yeah. There's another pair of sevens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Charcoal Sevens or Raptors, I guess. That's what a lot of people call them the Raptor Sevens, but brand new. I'm surprised these haven't started coming apart yet, but they look pretty solid. Seeing somebody in the condition they are, you're just like, wow. Right. Crazy. So these are like more so what I'm after, like the OGs. Yeah, totally. 
Look at this box. Yeah. So these are the Fire Red 4s from 89. <laughs> Such a skinny box on these. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So those look like someone wrapped the game. It looks like MJ played game. in those. <laughs> so you know, who put it on the outside court, huh? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So these have been soul swap. That's so cool. Yeah. You like the new Fire Red 4s? I do, yeah. 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 Those that's one pair I'll probably regret giving you guys part of the part of the sale over there. But oh yeah, 99 white cements. Again, my favorite shoe of all time. Also crumble, but but yep. Love that. Yep. Brown OG paper. This is the skinny box. Huh? On the 89s? Yeah. Yep. I mean, those two are a little skinny. Yeah, 99s. Yeah, the 99 retros came on them. It's like a Flint 13 box right there. Yeah. <laughs> that too, I thought it was so Yeah. Curious. Which one is this? Oh, wow. Yep. Same. 99s crumbling. <laughs> so good. Look at that old hang tag they used. Yeah. Just, and they use it on a plastic. No. Wow. These are sick. No. OG card in those too? Yep. Oh, yeah. Flu game? Yep, OG flu games. Wow. When was the when was the release of these? Uh 97? Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh. So rare. Again, really rare to see the tabs not cracked. I mean, this is a mega rail. Yeah. 12 and a half too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think you're ever gonna <laughs> come across for yeah. again. Yeah. In this size. Yeah. Is this a pair that's not gonna ever be the collection? Yeah, it's just yeah, this is one of those pairs I remember like as a 10 year old, my neighbor across the street had them and I just I know, couldn't really afford them at the time. Right. My family wasn't hooking me up with shoes, but yeah, it's another nice. I didn't know you had nostalgic. These. You yep. didn't email me those? Yep. That yep. was a sneak one, huh? Yep. What are these? Oh, the Royals. Yeah, so 2001 Royals. Uh, so these are for sale if anyone's interested. Size 12 and a half, mid condition, box, retro card. Yeah. So. This is one I was interested in. We just kind of come close up to on the price. Maybe yeah. A great shoe. New release. Obviously, if you're yep. a Bulls fan, you gotta have these. Lots of found Jordan ones. You guys have seen these plenty of times. So, where do you typically go to to purchase your sneakers? Sneakers. Nice. Yeah, just sneakers. Um, it's very rare I do a purchase like aftermarket. Right. If I just if I don't get them, I just whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't meant to be. Yep. So uh, here's some OGs. These are the Fire Red Fives from 1990. Just that shape, right? It's all the OGs love. Different shape compared to all the retros. Yeah, 100%. All right, we're winding down on some of the personal collection. Actually, we haven't even seen those over there yet, but we'll get to those oh, yeah. in a sec. Yeah, those are the smooth. This is your only? Yep, another OG, uh, 16 silhouette. What's that? Only 16 silhouette yes. in your collection. Yes, yep, yep. I'm missing the OG box, um, so I've actually often been willing to sell these. They're size 11 and a half. Got the OG shrouds, um, which are broke, but I do have the CDP shrouds in there. So sick. yeah, sick colorway. I think these will probably be retroing within the next few years, if I had to guess. So. Can't go wrong with black and red. Yeah. Again, his favorite shoe. Oh yeah. Yeah. White cements. So I do wear these occasionally. Is this the 16 pair? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nike Air in the back. Another cement four. These are the 2012. These, these are the old pair. Yeah. 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 More gray. Yep. On this pair than the 16 pair. Kind of a darker gray too. I think. Right. Any white cement that comes back, you're grabbing up. Right. Yeah. Yep. Even resale for that shoe? Uh, if I miss out, that might be a that might pair be I consider it. Yeah, I pay resale for. Red 4? Yep, 2012 release. Common to see the paint, you know, needing the paint chips. 100% yellowing on the midsole, all that stuff. Yeah. How do these wear? Comfort wise? Yeah, they're, they're, they're comfortable, yeah, for sure. Look at that, 160 bucks retail. 159.99 with the red yep. Nike label. Yeah. Don't do that anymore. Another one. Do you know the differentiator on why they put this on some boxes rather than others? The face box? Yes. yes. Uh, that was just during that period, right? Like uh, I think it was 99, 2000, um, when they started having some of the, like 2001, the retros. Yeah, that's, right. that's when they started that uh, face box. So, these yeah. are just the Japan uh, navies. Um, they're like a limited edition, but uh, you know they're not going for not going for too much. But I think they're a nice, clean colorway. You can see that nice tumble leather. Oh, that leather's butter. Yeah, yeah. I like these a lot actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's a special card. Is it, this isn't considered a mid either. It's considered a high. That's actually the mid, but they it do have mid. those as the highs too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got the mid, unfortunately. <laughs> so. Oh, it's all good. I, yep. I was more so curious. Uh, these are newer, right? These are those are the gratitude elevens. Yeah, DMP elevens, which you guys have probably yep. seen. What are these? Almas. Yep. 
Yep. All my fives. Yep. You guys see those? I love the OG charcoal nines. Yeah. You're gonna need a soul swap. Those bits are cooked. Yeah. Waiting for a retro on these two. Just 35, I think. 35, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Others kind of impulse buy on these. Did maybe we could die on 35? I think Isn't so. Is that the yeah. super looking at? Yeah. Zaz yeah, yeah, yeah. got a 30 star. Yeah. These are kind of cool. Yeah. Those are like kind of space jammy vibes. Yeah. Be a good, good court shoe. Yeah, 100. I've never worn a 35 to hoop it. Though. Yeah. Have you? No, uh, no, no. So I have no idea if they're comfortable or not. Wow. <laughs> oh, another OG. Yeah. Red 14s. Uh, 13. Red 13s. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. So these are brand new, and it's uh. Those are comment on the OGs, the uh, bubble. Starts to pop. These are kind of clean. You can, can you see the 23 on there? I don't know. I feel that leather, Drew. It's just different. What year is it? Uh, 98. So, oh, that's a good one. Okay. Another skinny box. Yeah. This. this is so weird. What the? How's oh, the case? I don't yes. know the story on these, but. Yeah, so these are the 17s, the original 17s when Jordan was playing like with the Wizards. Uh, came with the little case here. I think I'm missing the CD, but yeah, there's also a CD that came with it. Um, and I haven't opened these in a long time. <laughs> They're starting to get dust, so sticky. dusty. They're actually sticky right there, but. Oh yeah, they totally are. Yeah, yeah. Huh. So. That's yeah, a crazy pair. These will probably be retro soon. Yeah. So, kind of a cool little. That's a really cool one. Yeah, briefcase thing. All right. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, some OG. These are good. So good. This pattern's so different too. Mm -hmm. It's like they have that white lining. Yeah. That's so a great one. That's a great one. You just tell these boxes are old too because they're so right. Like almost crumbly in a way. So these are gonna be the last one, two, three, four, five, six. What is that? Twelve pairs of his personal collection, and then we're gonna go over the pairs that we purchased from him. So started off with another pair. Yep. Fire Red Fours. Yeah. So these are actually the Mars Fours. Oh, they are the Mars. Yeah. Wow. Why well, didn't yep. see that? Yep. I've never seen a pair of these ever. Oh, really? Never. Yeah, 2006, I believe. Wow. How did you get these? Uh, funny story. I remember buying these. So I was back in Chicago and um, got I think the receipts in here too. Yeah, here's the receipt. And uh, oh, okay. yeah, full oh, locker. Oh. Just got up, waited in line a little bit. 115 retail, and uh, went to a small called Lincoln Mall back where I grew up. Rest in peace, Lincoln Mall. How limited were these? Uh, they were general release for the most part, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they're, they're rare to see nowadays. I've never seen a pair in really? seven years recently. Yeah. Never seen a pair. I mean, there's a bunch of shoes I've just never seen. Right. In seven years of reselling, but this is this is crazy though. And these are these are super comfortable, way more than like the retros. Interesting. Wow. That's crazy. That was a nice surprise. Yeah. Yeah, a little crimson, <laughs> crimson threes. Pretty basic. It's a new era. Yeah. 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 Bright red on that. Yeah. Super vibrant red. These are good. Yeah, Toro fours. Yep. So these are some of the used pairs. I think I emailed you about. Yes. Yes. They're yeah, all pretty, fours. pretty good shade. Yeah. Yeah. Original Foot Locker receipt for these as well. Yeah. Columbia fours. Uh, Legend blue, I think. Or the yeah. Those are sick. But fours. These don't have the cage on them. So it's like one of the only fours that they yeah. just completely ruined the cage off. Yeah. Them. These are mine. These are a song. Yeah, nice color. Feature reference. That's one of his favorite shoes. This is shoe. Cool. These are great condition too. Uh, one of our friends who owns the store. Uh, okay. His name's Hassan. Okay. He loves this shoe. Another pair. Yep. Taxi Lowe's. Not the golf ones though. No, That's not golf. Yeah. Solid. Yep. This okay. isn't the 2016 pair. This is the uh, 2011, I believe. Yep. Yep. I haven't got many 2011 pairs on these, but I mean, yeah. Yeah. Butter. Yeah. Butter. Butter. So this. Uh, I feel like you gotta have this pair in your collection, so. That's what we I'm, said. I'm giving you the 2018, so I at least have, at least have these left, yeah. so. Have you seen? Uh, I had the old ones too, I sold recently. Oh, you did? But I regret those, but regret selling those. But. We uh, we posted Johnson's sneaker collection, the guy who was on yeah, the yeah, yeah. us, and um, yeah, we were saying the same thing. It's like, yeah. if you're showing a sneaker collection, you have to have a pair of black Yeah. It's, just, it's like mandatory almost. Yeah. Green glows, solid. Super solid. What was the reason for selling, what or wanting to sell a few of these used pairs? A few of the used pairs? Um, just considering selling them, but you know, when we were kind of far off on the number, I just decided, you know what, I might as well keep these. Yeah. Because they are used, you know, I might wear them. Totally. Oh, those are the Rodmans. That's 
That's a tough. It's yeah. a cool shoe. Yeah, that's sick. Got the double Nike swoosh. Yeah, so I was using these just to, to wear out, you know, the park, go shoot some boots. I can see you refing games in these. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually have the referee 11s, the low tops. Do you? Yeah. I don't think I've seen the referee 11s either. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to see the referee I 11s. I can grab yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see the referee 11s. Yeah. yeah. So these are just yeah. referee 11 IEs. <laughs> Those gotta be mad comfortable. Yeah, yeah, they're nice. That's why I like them breathability and they're lightweight. So. Love it. <laughs> he said he, uh, he, he'll he ref men's leagues and uh, yeah. stuff like that. So maybe he refs one of our games in the future when we go back to Legacy. It's a far drive for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Triplo's got out. Yep. Another great one. Dribbles just get so dirty quickly. Yeah, they do. So it's just like, yeah. oh, it's just frustrating. What is this? Quick Strike 20s. Oh, jeez. With the Wi-Fi bar on the front. Oh, <laughs> With the Wi-Fi bar? I've never opened a pair of 20 bar. There we go. It's like Velcro. Yeah, I've got that dash. Wow. It's a sick box. Look at, it, you mean, look at the old box. The display. It's like, this is how you wear them. This is how it was made. <laughs> What, it looks like one through 20 in these? Look yep. at this. 20th anniversary. 20th anniversary, all Jordans, one through 20. And just a different silhouette on each other. And obviously they have the bag as well. These are sick. Yeah. Yeah. Oreo fours. Yep. Just a gray le leather on those. Again, another four that they did without the cage. Mm -hmm. Love is really nice on these. Yeah, these, this is a good one. Sure. Yeah. You never seen those? You've got a couple pairs. But last but not least. Uh, Jordan 23s. I mean, sorry, not so what the colorway. Oh, uh, I think they call them Chicago. Yeah, Chicago 23s. So, so. These do not feel comfortable. I've actually worn these to play ball, and you're right. They're not the most comfortable. They just look like they would be a decent Like the inside, one. the inside's yeah. got that, like, uh, uh, what would you call this? This is like a, not silk, but it's like a blanket almost. Like a quilt. Quilt, there you go. Um, yeah, these do not look comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And I'm talking like you take off the shoe and your right. foot just feels like a bra. Not here. Yeah. Wow. All right. So, how many pairs is this in your collection? I think counting the thirty, I'm giving you. I had like 125-ish, maybe somewhere around there. So like he'll that. he'll still likely have over like around 90. Yeah, like, around yeah. 90 pairs. Yeah. But yeah, comment what you guys think of the collection thus far. I mean, some really great pairs, stuff that you just truly don't see every day. So I can appreciate inspiration that you've gotten purchasing shoes over the years but we're going to help him put some of these shoes back into his closet and then we're going to finish out this video and show you guys the shoes that we purchased for him my personal favorite was those massive 12 levels okay. i think those were sick yeah, yeah. and i don't even golf yeah uh favorite pair in your in the collection that you would personally say uh white cement white cement yeah, white cement fours, still yeah. white cement yeah yeah <laughs> drew what about you oh it had to be the masters 12s i didn't really think take that one yeah because <laughs> the, the jordan logo on the bottom Leads through to the top. I don't know if you notice that. And you can see it when you wear them. They're pretty cool. Colorways clean. Make sure you thought that through. Uh, okay, reason for selling with 30. Uh, reason for selling. Uh, again, I just these are all brand new. I don't. I just don't ever find myself wearing them to be honest. Um, you know, I have my select five to ten pairs that I rotate through and just ready to make some room. Really, to be honest. So. Yep. Are you gonna take the cash and buy something that? Like, is there a shoe that you're immediately gonna go after? after you? To be honest, no. I mean, maybe I would look for some '89 OG cement fours. I don't have that in my collection. That's my kind of grail, okay. as well as some uh, black toe '85s. Those are my two grails for sure. So maybe I can put some of that money towards that. But cool. No real plans <laughs> with the money, to be honest. So if you have either of those pairs, 12, 12 and a half, 11 and a yeah, half. Yeah, 11, 11 to 12. I would be cool with. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Make sure to hit him on Instagram. It's Adam or Rooch. 23 yep. on Instagram. So a couple of pairs. This actually makes it quite easy. Some people really like to put that shoe image on the box, which I can appreciate. Um, and in terms of selling the shoes, nobody cares if the shoe is on the box or not. Right. So that doesn't actually be value or anything like that. Uh, for organization purposes, I bet it's, it's yeah. 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 Especially we don't have the clear white display cases. Yeah. But um, again, mostly all size 12s in here. Purchasing a pair of the Stage Haze Jordan 1 Highs. Very neutral color. Uh, seems to like dads gravitate towards <laughs> this like older men just because it's very neutral, it's neutral color, yeah. Yeah, that's a great pair we got a pair of maroon sixes here 
again, all these are gonna be brand new that we're purchasing, so um, lots of OG stuff. I mentioned earlier in this video how you guys could possibly have the opportunity of purchasing these. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're gonna do a network live auction on this entire collection. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of this stuff, I'm gonna list every single one of these pairs on the network live that you guys see on your screen right here. Go to network, download the app, make sure to bookmark it and click the notify me button on the top left corner of the show. When we go live, we'll start all these at a dollar, which is gonna be crazy. So, you know, I'll let you know. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Losing money on it. Maybe he goes in there, he's like, hey, this is a steal, I'm just gonna buy this back. Right. Um, so, Network Live, I'll let you guys know the date will be on the screen. Make sure to join that live. That'll be a crazy live because you guys are gonna have some opportunities to buy some really great stuff. Royal Toe, Jordan 1 Highs. Not a ton of OG stuff. I know we saw OG stuff, yeah. but not a lot of That's all what I wanna keep. Stuff. That's yes. why I'm not letting those go. Yo. Carmine Sixes, another great shoe. Newer release, of course. Again, size 12 on those. Like these, I know I have the OGs in the collection, so. Exactly. Don't mind getting rid of them. Thank you for so many of these. Yeah. Would have been like a deal breaker without these. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Again, size 12, you're, you're just getting into sneakers. Maybe you want to start a collection. Go for these on the network show that we do. These are great. And they know. just keep going up in price. They just, yeah. But I notice a lot of people like, We'll buy some shoes and sell them, and then that pair will somehow come back to us. Still in brand new condition. Same pair? Yeah, it's like, wow. So a lot of people, when they buy shoes, they kind of just look at them in the closet. Maybe they think they're gonna wear them, maybe they don't, and then it ends up being sold back to us or right. sold to another store or something like that. So it's funny how sneakers work. Yeah. Uh, Muslin threes, nice color, right? I love the canvas material on this pair. It does get a bit dirty, but they're a great pair. One of my favorite threes, Funny story about these shoes. I, I used to sneaker bot back in the day, uh -huh. and so I, when I ran these, I was running Foot Locker on these, right. and I hit like thirty-five. No, it was twenty. It was like between twenty-five and thirty-five pairs. I don't remember exactly, and I freaked out because I was like, I think there's gonna brick. Like this is way too yeah, easy. Yeah. Come to find out, obviously this is now five hundred. Like yeah. And I'm just like, I could have hit one hundred and fifty, two hundred pairs of these. So yeah. you live and you learn. But this is such a great show, man. I might regret those. All right. <laughs> Are you a big North Carolina fan? Uh, not, not really. You know, just a nice, just a nice clean colorway. Yeah, totally. So. What would you say? Because you, you, I don't see you have any player exclusives in here. No, nothing like that. Yeah. But if you were to purchase a player exclusive Jordan, yeah, what, which one would that be? What silhouette? From what college? Um, I really like a Marquette Force. To be yeah, honest. Dude, yeah, that's a those. great choice. Yeah, those are really clean. Um, I'm, I mean, the fours are my favorite silhouette. So, any of those uh, PE fours would be. Yeah. So. Zoom racers, Jordan ones, again size twelve. Uh, Another brick, pro prototype, prototype, craft ones, something like that. Craft. I don't think craft. I think just prototype ones, if I'm not mistaken. The swoosh on the toe box is so sick. Yeah. Other than that, the shoe's a little. It's a brick, yeah. but I think it's pretty clean by the way. Yeah. And the box is cool. Yeah. I love when they do a box color match. Match. Obsidian ones, brand new. I mean. These used to sell like crack back in 2020, 2021. Yeah. They've kind of slowed down a little bit now just because there's so many fakes of them on the market. Fire Reds, 2020. You didn't keep this pair, huh? Uh, again, I have the OGs. So. And the Mars 4s, yeah, same colorway. So that Mars, I just won't see myself wearing these. So. That Mars is definitely top five. Yeah. For me. yeah. Yellow Toes, you guys have seen plenty of these before. Another shoe. Oh my oh, gosh, I forgot your white cement. Yeah, the these will be. Threes. Oh, you forgot to bring them? Uh -huh. I'll ship them to you. Oh, okay. 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 So I, we actually, part of this deal was giving him a pair of the reimagined threes in the size 12. Completely forgot about that. That's Sorry, what I mean. No I'll ship them to you. Uh, but these, wow. Yeah. I completely forgot about these. What year are those again? The 2013? 2013. 2013. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't keep these. Yeah, that's another one I might regret. But. <laughs> It's alright. <laughs> yeah. Wow, and that's that's a crisp pair. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna go for a check. You might see me on the bidding oh. on that one. On the, I'm getting that one back. <laughs> yeah. I bought these two, huh? Yeah. I do you remember? That I one. was surprised that you bought those, to be honest. Me too. But they're yours now. <laughs> Dude, you're unbelievable. Those are two thousand fire red. Sorry, Drew. And it'll be on network. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Jordan One Eyes. Yep. Two pros. <coughs> one of my favorite shoes of all time. 113s. Yeah. They're classic. We had some good money on 113s. Another shoe we hit like 100 pairs of back in the day. Uh, I always get these confused. Tax 12s, playoff 12s. Yeah. Playoff. yeah. 
another must. Yeah. I know some people don't like 11s and wearing them, but the people who do really mess with them gotta have bread alone. <laughs> have to. Ultimate boxing awesome shoe. I'm not gonna take these all the way out because it's just a pain to put them back in. Space Jam, 11s as well. OG classic. My personal favorite pair of Jordan 11s. You guys have seen these quite often. Size 12 cool grays. All these old 11s too, they're sub 400 to 600 bucks depending on the silhouette. <coughs> Great shoe. It doesn't look like you wore any of your 11s in your collection. No, more of a low top. Low top guy. Yeah. Too. I mean, come on guys, Concord. Must-haves. Must-have. We're not gonna take these out, Cherry 12s. You know it's releasing these. Oh, Jeters, I forgot about these too. Mm -hmm. Why did you Why did you want to sell these? This is a great shoe. Just again, I won't ever really find myself wearing them, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I wish they did a different box with those, though. I was really disappointed with how mm -hmm. the box came on those, especially for a Jeter. Fire Red Fives. It's a 2020 pair. 2020, yeah. Yeah, released during the last dance. Yep. Yeah. That's, That's uh, when Jordans were going. Crazy. Yeah, they went skyrocket. Again, another shoe you have to have in your collection. Come on, Brett Ford, brand new. No yellowing on the back of the tab either. I don't think the black cement had any yellowing. No, yeah. not at all. Yeah. Some of the new pairs, I can clean the black cement and start to yellow up a little bit. Uh, new pair, you got a pair of Unions. This is the Desert Moss colorway uh, in a size 12. These actually don't really go for much. No, what, 300? Roughly? Yeah, there's a Moss Jordan 4. That's a nice shoe. Right? Another shoe I'm not gonna take out because it's a pain to put back in, Ama 4s. I actually want these in a 12. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a 13. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah, too late, like, huh? Yeah. This one is good. Yeah. Isn't it? Another shoe I'm surprised you sold. Now yeah. I'm seeing it. Oh, dude. This is a true shoe for sure. Yeah, 100% a little too big, but these are crisp. That, huh, guys? God. I was I was hyped about this one. This one not really as excited about, but <laughs> it just doesn't hit the same. Still a good one though. Yep. Yeah. Not yet. 2013 release. Really. Yeah. One more. Uh, these are the Chicago threes, right? These correct. Are the yeah, they're the regular uh, United threes. Yeah. I think these are slept on. I think this is a solid yeah, one. I agree. And I love the Nike Air on the back. I wish if they would have done a white yeah, toe yeah, box with white. the red outer, these would have banged. Yeah, would have been nice. But uh, yeah, could have, should have, would have, I guess, Nike. But this is a great shoe too. Very stuck on the pair. And affordable. This pair is like, I think sub 300 right now. So anyways, that's all 30 pairs we purchased from my guy, Adam. Where we're gonna sell all these pairs on the network is gonna be somewhere on the screen and in the link down in the description below if you guys wanna shop it. Thank you so much yeah, for letting man. us tour. Yeah, thanks for coming by, guys. Thank we you so much. Yeah. He allowed us in this home um, and allowed us to film the collection and pick up the pairs. So I've got the cash for Adam right here, straight from Chase. There you go. Right on. Thanks again, thanks again guys. Of course. Uh, if you guys wanna find him, maybe you're interested in possibly selling him something or you wanna purchase something from him, Rooch23 on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a great video. Hopefully we can do more stuff like this in the future. So thank you again for the time. We really appreciate it. Drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.